everyone welcome back so today I have my fireplace holiday extreme makeover and this is extreme at least it was for me um, we started with a fireplace that was just in horrible condition and this has been months in the making unfortunately um, so I came up with a temporary fix to uh, transform this fireplace for the holidays um, because we are actually getting a wood-burning stove in insert put into the fireplace box but it's on back order and it's been on back order since April of this year so fingers crossed in January we will be able to get it and get it installed but until then I wanted to make it look nice for the holiday season. So if you are new to my channel and you like home decor and DIYs on a budget, make sure to stick around by hitting that subscribe button and ringing the bell for notifications. All right, let's get into this makeover. All right, here's the fireplace we are working with. Unfortunately, it didn't look like this when we moved in. I don't have a video of this monstrosity inside of the fireplace box, but this was inside of there and we had to take it out. It was super heavy. It was rusted. It had insulation coming out of it. It was not put in correctly and we pulled it out of there and here's my husband flipping it off of the deck um, so that we could get rid of it. Uh, and it left behind a disgusting, nasty mess that we had to clean up. And once we got that cleaned up, that's when we were left with this and now we have more work to do. All right, so now we needed to take those shelves out. They definitely weren't my style. So my husband got the sledgehammer out and started um, just banging on them and they started to loosen up a little bit. Um, but then he got the crowbar and hammer out so that that way he could kind of chisel around the mortar um, to try to loosen it up a little bit more. And that worked a little bit, um, but the sledgehammer worked the best. I definitely recommend wearing safety goggles when you are doing this if you're gonna do this um, and I don't recommend doing this if you're not gonna paint your stone wall because obviously um, when the shelves break off it's gonna leave jagged edges and gaps and cracks but I'm gonna paint this so it doesn't make any difference to me I just wanted the shelves gone so um, my husband started um, hitting them and they just started uh, coming down after that so he went for it and uh, it, it worked so after he was done I came in with some mortar and a squeeze tube and I spread that all um, in between the gaps and the cracks that we created as well as all over the wall because it was already um, had gaps and cracks in it and I smoothed it out with my finger and let that dry overnight so that that way I could come back in the next day and paint everything and that's what I did the next day I painted and I painted and I painted some more it took me all day um, until about 2 a.m. to finish painting this fireplace. Um, I had to use a brush, obviously, because of all of the texture and uh, just, uh, you know, the brick was so porous. So it took me a while, but I got it done. I painted everything white. I even painted the hearth white. I just wanted everything to be fresh and clean. Um, and I knew for contrast the... Um, mantle that I was going to add later and the new wood burning stove would look nice. So um, this is how it set and looked uh, until just recently. So it's been sitting like this for months now and I'm ready to tackle this firebox in here because it looks terrible and I want to decorate for the holidays. So I decided to make a faux mantle and I didn't want to attach anything to the wall. I didn't want to screw anything to the wall. Um, I didn't want to glue anything to the wall because obviously it has to come down when our uh, new wood burning stove comes in. So I had these fence boards uh, from Home Depot. They are one by six foot fence boards and I decided that I was going to create my mantle out of this because it was the cheapest and I already had a few of them so I only had to go to the store and buy a couple of them. So I measured out two, um, one for each side 
of the box to frame out the firebox um, and then one to go along the top to connect both of them together um, and so then I just measured all of that out and laid it down and then I used my nail gun to attach that board to the side pieces all right now I'm gonna turn the whole piece over because that was the front side and this is the back side of the piece and I'm gonna cover that middle section with some leftover shiplap paneling that I had uh, purchased at Home Depot I had it left over from a bunch of projects that I've used shiplap around my house um, with so I just cut this down to size and then I just used some really tiny screws to screw it in to the back there um, because I didn't have any small nails so the tiny screws worked perfectly um, and then that way when I flipped it over you have the shiplap in the middle there now I needed something to attach my mantle with to hold up my mantle so I decided to use these brackets from Home Depot they kind of matched the brackets that are in my kitchen holding up my open shelving so I decided that that would kind of coordinate well um, with the fireplace hopefully and um, I got two of those and attached those to the uh, frame part on that top piece there as you can see and then um, for the mantle itself I just used another one of those fence boards cut it to size and just made sure I measured so that both sides were equal and attached it to those brackets um, and then I was able to put it up against the fireplace wall and cover up that box but unfortunately, it did not stand up on its own, obviously. It's top heavy, and I didn't really think about how I was gonna attach it to the wall without making any holes or anything like that in the wall. Um, so my husband had a great idea, and that was to make sort of a hook on the back of this fireplace mantle that I made um, to kind of hook it up into the fireplace. So to make my hook, I needed to first measure um, the height of my fireplace box and I needed to attach a piece of wood to the back of my mantle that I made um, for something for the hook to attach to so I just used a scrap one by two and attached it with some screws to the back of the piece then I measured the uh, top part of the fireplace box where the hook is going to be attached to I measured the width of that and I cut two one by twos one that was three and a half inches um, plus the thickness of the one by two which the thickness of a one by two is actually five eighths inches um, and then I measured for another piece for the actual hook that was three and a half inches and I attached those all together to make it look like a hook and then my husband just slid it up underneath the fireplace box and pushed in the bottom of it and it worked props to my husband for that so now it's attached and it's not going anywhere so I can go ahead and paint and stain it so I decided to use this American walnut stain uh, to stain the top of the mantle um, and I did a coat on the bottom and a coat on the top um, and then I decided to paint the actual frame of the fireplace box mantle thing that I built I don't know what to call it um, I painted that white which is the same color as the stone that I painted um, because I didn't want it to stand out too much and I was afraid that it was gonna look funny if I painted it a different color so I stuck with white um, to kind of blend everything together and I gave the pieces of wood a couple coats now I didn't sand any of this wood down if this was going to be a permanent solution for you I would definitely sand uh, the wood down before you painted or stained it but since mine wasn't going to be a permanent solution it's just temporary I didn't want to put too much time and effort since I've already put a lot of time and effort into this so anyways I painted the shiplap in the middle with some matte black paint from Home Depot and now it's ready to be decorated for Christmas so let's do it
I'm going to start off decorating the mantle with some of this garland from Dollar General last year. It's two pieces that I strung together. It's battery operated and pre-lit. It's so pretty. I hope they have more this year because I want to get some more for around the rest of my house. Um, I did add a few Dollar Tree sparkly picks inside of there just to um, add a little bit of spice. And I just twisted the uh, branches around the picks to hold them in place. Place. And then I added my stocking holders to the middle of the mantle and I got those at Meijer a long time ago um, and I actually spray painted them gold because they were previously silver. Um, and then I just hung up the middle of my garland to the middle of that stocking holder there just so that way it wasn't so droopy and then I hung my stockings on these stocking holders I got these sweater stockings I believe from Target but it could have been home goods last year I'm not positive but I think they are so pretty for the winter time I also added my big iron clock that I got from Walmart a long time ago. I just placed it on the mantle and leaned it up against the wall so that way it's not permanently attached to the wall so I can move it later on. And then to the hearth, I added this vase I got from a garage sale this year. It's originally from Ikea. I'm going to add these Target dollar spot picks along with the Dollar Tree gold sparkly picks so that way hopefully I can kind of move mimic the garland on the mantle um, so it ties everything together. Next to the vase, I added this Merry Christmas sign that I got from the Target dollar spot this year. And then I also added this ceramic deer that I've had for forever. Now on the opposite side, I needed to cover that outlet. So I used this big pillow I got from Home Goods last year. And then I also used this bucket filled with pine cones and a blanket from the Target dollar spot this year. And then also my bells that I just made for a video not too long ago and then next to that I wanted to tie up some wood to just kind of tie everything together and give that natural look I just used a little bit of twine and stacked my wood on top of that twine and tied it together and then I added a few Dollar Tree picks to that to finish it off I love how my fireplace turned out it's beautiful now and here's the review and me, hang by the fire and chill. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, and I've been longing to hold you close. Forget about everyone else. Isn't this how it is supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Thank you guys so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed my fireplace makeover for the holidays. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys in the next one. Happy holidays. Bye-bye. Don't even care what we do if we're